Continuing on our smartphone camera comparison with the new Pixel 5a, today we're gonna to be comparing this device versus the Samsung Galaxy A52, which is the best competitor to this device within the US market. Both of these smartphones cost around $500, though Samsung's device is a little bit more expensive, but we're gonna see if the cameras on Samsung's phone can live up to what we get on the Pixel 5a from Google. Let's take a look. First up is the Samsung Galaxy A52 with its quad camera setup on the back. The main one being a 64 megapixel sensor, 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and then two five megapixel sensors for monochrome and macro cameras. And then up front, we have a 32 megapixel selfie camera that can record 4K video at up to 30 frames per second, as can the rear cameras on the back of the device. And then for the Google Pixel 5a, we have a dual sensor set up on the back of the phone with a 12 megapixel main sensor, 16 megapixel ultra wide camera. Those can record 4K video at up to 60 FPS, while the sensor on the front of the phone is an 8 megapixel sensor for the selfie camera that can capture 1080p video at 30 frames per second. Now that we've gotten the specifications of the Pixel 5a and the Samsung Galaxy A52 squared away, let's jump into some side-by-side -side photo and video comparisons to see how these two devices handle themselves in a variety of different lighting conditions. Let's take a look. And this here's a look at 4K video capture from both of these devices for their main cameras. As you can see, the video on the Samsung device is a lot wider, and then we can actually switch over to ultra wide cameras, and again, much wider than what you get on the Pixel 5a.
And this here is what we get from the front-facing cameras on both of these devices. Just as a reminder, the Pixel 5a maxes out at 1080p video, 30 FPS from the selfie camera, while the Samsung Galaxy A52 reports 4K video at 30 frames per second. Definitely something that we don't get on a lot of mid-range devices within that $400 to $500 category. Here's a look at video capture from the front facing cameras on both of these devices. The Galaxy A52 does have the advantage when it comes to overall resolution here, shooting at 4K 30 FPS versus the 1080p 30 FPS that we're getting from the Pixel 5a. But that being said, in situations like this, you really don't want to use the front facing camera. It's simply too dark for a good video. So we're going to flip things over and use the ultra wide, and I'm going to show you what that's like. 
And here we go, this is video from the ultra wide camera on the back of the phone. Even though you can't see yourself on the screen, in a situation like this, if you're looking for better video quality and low light conditions, the ultra wide is definitely a better option than the front facing camera on either of these two devices. And that's gonna do it for this camera comparison between the Pixel 5a and the Samsung Galaxy A52. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments below and which device you'd rather use on a day-to-day -day basis for capturing your photos and videos. We do have more camera comparisons between the Pixel 5a, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.